Hello and welcome to Copperhead Agricultural Products, Copperhead Ag, or a company out of South Dakota, and we are the makers of the Furrow Cruiser spike closing wheel you see before you. This wheel is a poly spike closing wheel. It fits into the Deer, White, Kinsey, Monosem, Great Plains hub, so it mounts onto virtually any planter. And the idea is we've been seeing a problem in the field with getting the sidewall broken down, eliminating the sidewall compaction and air pockets in the field. And that's what we're about with this product. We are about getting rid of sidewall compaction. You see here in the field there's a little wet spot right there. And uh, that's the place where the rubber tire that comes stock on the planter is going to have a hard time getting that sidewall broken down. Not to mention um, the drier spots in this field uh, where that sidewall is going to have kind of a crust to it and it's going to be hard um, where that rubber tire is going to have a hard time penetrating it. Our wheel, the spike, will get down in the ground and break that compaction out of the sidewall. So one of the things I hear all the time when I'm out on the road talking to farmers, um, going to dealerships, going to farm shows, um, is people saying to me, well, how do I know if I've got sidewall compaction? How do I know if I've got it taken care of? So when we're out in the field digging, we're going to dig in a very specific way to check this all out. Um, and I want to share that with you today. Um, the first thing we're going to do is, like you see the picture before you, we're going to take a three inch wide putty knife and we're going to shove it down in the ground to the hilt across the furrow. Um, then we're going to take another trowel and dig out one side of that putty knife until basically you've got the whole blade exposed. Then as you peel that blade back, you're going to have a nice cross-section view of the furrow like you see in front of you. What that cross-section allows us to do is really to see uh, where, the v, where the V openers cut through the ground to open it up and see exactly how deep that seed's getting placed and exactly what those sidewalls look like after our closing wheels have gone over them. This is how we noticed that we were having air pockets and compaction in the first place is this very specific way of digging um, and if there's one of the most affordable investments you can make you probably don't even have to go buy anything you probably have this on your shelf go get your three inch wide putty knife and your trowel your just your regular garden trowel and and use that for digging in the field what we have found when we dig from the top with a plier handles or you know any other kind of digging tool that you're kind of raking dirt away from the top down and and by the time you get down there you've moved everything from where it was in the first place and so by digging in this way we can see that we get rid of the sidewall compaction and the air pockets and when you saw that picture you saw that that seed was tucked in nice and that soil so if you're planting in a condition where you've got um, a no-till field like this you've got a wet field you've got just any kind of condition to deal with um, other than perfect. Um, that's where our wheel is really going to shine. Um, that's, that's what we're all about. So we want to thank you very much for stopping by and looking at our video today. If you have any more questions, you can stop by copperheadag.com. We've got other videos loaded up there. We've got videos on YouTube. And of course, you can also find our numbers and email addresses there at copperheadag.com. We wish you the best of luck in your planning this spring and, and as you go forward. And if, if we can be a resource for you, don't hesitate to call. This is Jake with Copperhead Ag. Thank you very much.